Hello to everybody, our dear subscribers. Future Trend channel is back to you, and today is 20th of March 2019. We are ready to present our point of view and our vision of how to trade major currencies in the current environment. Uh, this morning, uh, the United States dollar is looking a little bit high, is a little bit stronger because of uh, heightened tensions in trade negotiation process process between the United States and uh, China, but of course all, I, uh, all eyes of traders, all eyes of analytics are on today's Federal Reserve Monetary Policy uh, meeting. And uh, of course it should uh, lay, uh, lay the ground for, uh, let's say, uh, for a kind of direction, uh, for a kind of trend in the United States currency uh, probably uh, for next uh, couple of uh, weeks but um, of course a lot of will depend uh, on uh, evaluation of the economic stance of the United States at the current moment a lot of will depend uh, of um, on uh, what kind of words uh, the Fed chief uh, Jerome Powell will use during his uh, press conference. A uh, lot of will depend on the commitment on the Federal Reserve to its uh, patient uh, further steps in the monetary policy. Uh, so uh, let's wait a little bit for the uh, final decision before taking any kind of real uh, trading um, uh, decisions. And uh, uh, as regarding in the current situation, we suggest that before before uh, the decision of the Federal Market Open Committee meeting, uh, the market uh, should remain in the tight ranges. Uh, of course, a lot of will depend uh, uh, on uh, today's uh, form curve ver verdict. But uh, we still continue to suggest that there are some possibilities, for some opportunities uh, for the lower United States dollar price. So at the moment we uh, suggest that um, probably Euro dollar is getting closer, closer to its uh, current downtrend line located at 113.65. Also here lies uh, moving average 100 daily line and also 55 days lines. It's not far from that level. So all in all, uh, the euro dollar is trying to break above uh, that uh, vicinity of these trend, uh, trade lines, of these average lines. Uh, the more important 200 daily line is at the moment is located at 114.79 and uh, to be true uh, the pair should finally break above that level and close clear close uh, above that level to uh, let's say to have a kind of stronger bullish signal as regarding some other currencies the dollar yen at the moment is trading around 111.55 a little uh, a little bit higher uh, comparing to the closing of previous trading session because of the United States bid for the United States dollar on the news of heightened trading negotiation process between United States and China. But of course we continue also here to suggest that sooner or later the pair will be back closer to its pivotal support area of 110. Um, what else? Sterling dollar. A lot of will depend, of course, on the um, on the Brexit process. Um, so there are a lot of politics in this uh, kind of uh, uh, in this type of currency. We suggest that at the moment, shorter to medium term, um, shorter to medium term um, opportunities. Uh, let's say uh, for costs of their a great Britain pound at the moment is looking a little bit uh, shaky. Um, uh, that means that we suggest that sooner or later, in a case of, even in case of a more prolonged period of um, negotiation process of uh, the, the so-called Brexit deal, we suggest that there are some 
um, problems uh, for the uh, UK currency to react further to the upside. We suge suggest that sooner or later the pair will be back under selling pressure. And uh, that's why we continue to suggest that any kind of uh, move uh, to the upside uh, uh, you should use as a selling opportunity. The same also applies, uh, by the way, for the euro selling, uh, where we continue to uh, have to keep our small long position accumulated at 85.45. We are ready to, uh, for example, we are ready to add to existing position on the possible um, a retest of the lows around 84, uh, 70, 80. Anyway, um, there is a kind of strong uh, resistance barrier around uh, the so-called downtrend line, uh, current downtrend line that's located at the moment around 86, 20. That's uh, why there are a lot of a lot of traders who put stop losses above 86. 2025 at the moment what else what else as regarding commodity block of currencies for example russian ruble continue to uh, perform quite strong at the moment because of strong economic data coming uh, from russia uh, despite of a long uh, list of sanctions from the part of the united states against uh, this country anyway uh, cont uh, Russian economy continued to perform uh, really uh, very indifferent to the United States, uh, to the Western um, uh, kind of sanctions against the uh, uh, Russian Federation. And that's uh, why probably uh, at the moment Russian ruble has some more room to the upside. And uh, uh, this break below the level of 74, for example, in Euro ruble or 65, in the dollar ruble uh, that means that uh, these currencies should uh, should move into another range and into a lower range as regarding <coughs> excuse me as regarding russian ruble as regarding dollar ruble of course there is still a kind of a stronger support barrier around 64 anyway the pair could easily uh, continue to um, I mean, uh, to uh, the dollar ruble to continue to slide lower, seeking the bottom around the level of 60.50, and uh, coming um, in the coming pair of months, let's say so. As regarding Australian uh, dollar, uh, here uh, you can find a kind of uptrend line, immediate kind of uptrend line <coughs> located at a 70, let's say 60, say 70.50. Anyway, uh, more interesting support barrier is located around psychological important barrier of 70 is regarding New Zealand dollar. New Zealand dollar to continue to perform uh, quite uh, stable at the moment and have some more potential to, uh, to extend its current bullish uh, uh, motion, let's say so. So, at the moment that's all. Uh, let's wait for the Federal Open Market Committee uh, Ray decision. Uh, that's, of course, the topic number one for today. And uh, probably in case of uh, a kind of strong reaction of the market to, to the news from the Federal Open Market Committee meeting, we will, uh, we will come with updating kind of video report uh, covering the uh, changing situation. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye for now. It was your future future trend channel.